I'm at the bullfighting arena in Hat Yai today. This is a big part of Southern Thai culture, but it's very unlike the Spanish bullfighting. There are no matadors involved. It's just bull against bull. I went to the bullfighting years ago. There used to be um, a stadium just off the airport road. Apparently that's closed now. So they've all moved to this stadium now, which is in um, Kong Hoi Klong district. I'll give it a link uh, to Google Maps in the description below. It's very popular in this part of Thailand. Already there are quite a few people and I suspect that within an hour or so it'll be really packed and apparently it starts around 10.30. It's about 10.20 at the moment. Lots of food vendors outside. They also sell food inside and these events create quite a, a party atmosphere. I just bought my ticket and I was attempting to film the ticket booth to show everyone where to buy their tickets and someone objected something to do with the prices displayed outside. They've got lots of prices, it's cheaper for women and you can pay for just the first round or just the second round. Uh, they, they sold me like uh, the top price ticket the, for, for the whole day, which is 500 baht. But there, there wasn't a special price for Falang, it's the same price for size as well. So I can't show you the, the ticket office, but I have been told that it's okay to do a video inside the stadium. They've just removed all the uh, price information from the ticket booth, and the guy that told me I couldn't film has just grabbed me again and said that now I can film. So this is a ticket booth where you buy your tickets and five minutes ago there are a list of prices now there are no prices if you come expect to pay 500 baht this is the stadium and it's a, a big improvement on the other stadium I went to many years ago that one was almost falling apart this one looks to be fairly new this is Kun Chess. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> he grabbed me as I came in and he seems to be quite a senior figure here. He owns four balls. Everyone here knows him and he's he's told me that if there's anything I need just to just to tell him. So that's a really nice offer. The PA system has started up now, so you may have problems hearing me. It's getting quite noisy now. But as with most sport in Thailand, what this is really about is gambling. When I went to the other stadium years ago, I saw bookmakers walking around with wads of cash. And there were lots of people attempting to hand over their cash to place their bets. In the Thai mind, you can't really have a game or sport without gambling. There was a, a case in Pattaya uh, a few years ago. A group of pensioners, foreign pensioners, had organized a, a bridge club. They were playing cards. And they all got arrested by the Thai police. And because, you know, it was assumed because they were playing cards, they were gambling. So to the Thai mind, you, you, you can't sort of play a sport like that and just do it for the, the sake of fun and, and skill. You know, it has to be done for gambling. So I, th I think we're going to see a bit of that later once the, uh, the bullfighting begins. I was talking about gr Gratom in my last video and Kun Chess here is eating a leaf of Gratom. Thai herb, Thai herb. Thai herb. Someone pry Thai. He told me he chews the Gratom leaves for low blood pressure and diabetes and that they help. Oh. I've been asked to leave the press box because they're getting busy. My friend Kun Chess has gone to do some work. Uh, one ball has arrived. There's a, quite a few people inside the stadium. It looks as if there's going to be some kind of ceremony or presentation before the bullfighting. And it's starting to get really busy and noisy now. The balls are being prepared and paraded so people can decide which one they're going to bet on. I've been warned not to get too close because these things can be very dangerous. 
and I wasn't sure about the uh, the status of gambling here. It's a bit confusing in, in Thailand because you can bet on horse racing, you can bet on the national lottery, but like all the, the football betting is all illegal and underground. So I wasn't sure about here, but I've been told that the betting here is legal and it's also legal with for uh, Thai boxing. You can see the, the crowd has really started to build now and there's a real buzz here. As I said, I'm, I'm the only foreigner here and I'm getting real VIP treatment. Everyone wants to help me and uh, I'm being made to feel quite special. I've never gambled, I know, no know nothing about gambling, but I, I know that at horse racing, the bookies will use hand signals to indicate the odds for each race. And the same thing seems to be going on here. Uh, there's a lot of raised hands and raised fingers. I think they're just telling people what the odds are for each ball in the fight. And we're getting close now to the first fight. I remember when I came before, there was a lot of inactivity. You know, for a lot of the time, the bulls just stand there looking at each other. The other thing I was I was pleased about last time was that I, met, I didn't see a bull get hurt. When when one was, when one bull has had enough, it just runs off, and that's the end of the bout. These things have got really sharp horns, and they could do a lot of damage. But fortunately, they don't seem so. There's a bit of a standoff now. I'm not sure whether this bout has finished or not, or whether it will continue. But the, the ball walking around the perimeter seems to be the one that's lost. He's got a ring through his nose, and he's being guided by that guy that's got a long stick. I'm not sure if he's trying to get him to fight again. Yeah, he seems to want to be directing him towards the other ball. Now they've started again. When they start fighting, the noise level goes up a lot. Lots and lots of excitement in the crowds. You see the bookies over there raising their hands and fingers. One of the bulls has just come out for the second round and this one looks really feisty. Quite scary actually. And at these things you get a real cast of characters. They're all sort of typical southern Thai men. I've met a few policemen already. Oh, one guy, quite smartly dressed, asked me if I had a wife. And I said yes. And he said, oh. he said if, if I didn't have a wife, he could give me one. So I asked how old. He said 21. Then he told me that he had four wives, like um, me, me and Oiz, the uh, minor wives. And I said, you know, Oh, lucky, lucky man. He said, no, he said, one nags me and the other ones are really fierce. He said, it's uh, a headache. Okay, so we're just getting ready for the second round. The guys seem to operate teams. So these three guys here are wearing shirts with a picture of that ball. And the team is Dangong Yutagan, I think. So the first word is red. I'm not sure what the rest of it means. 
it's all um, all very organised, and I think there's a, a lot of money involved in this business as well. The stand opposite seems to be a lot more crowded than the stand behind me for some reason. It's difficult to estimate how many people here. Uh, probably, I don't know, two, two thousand, maybe three thousand. Everyone, everyone paying five hundred bar entrance fee, so it's quite a lot of money. Okay. There's some people here that want me to video them, so I'm, I'm obliging. <laughs> it's more fun actually watching the crowd than watching the balls. <laughs> I've been warned several times not to get too close. Uh, these things are incredibly big, incredibly powerful, and those horns are very, very sharp. They can do you a lot of damage. Hot up. It's a bit like uh, Thai boxing where it's all very ceremonial. So they're doing a lot of work with the preparation and adorning the, the ball with various ribbons and colours and things. They, they train and exercise the balls every day, so it's a, a very common sight in this part of Thailand just to see people like, walking their balls around the streets just to keep them in shape. And they're preparing the, the other ball on the other side of the stadium. Second bout has just started. You hear the noise level go up. It's a standoff at the moment. With the anticipation of the balls getting together to start their bout. I'm sure they'd be much happier just um, sitting in a field of grass eating but rather than fighting in a stadium. But that's not what they're here to do today. Neither look very interested. One is just looking away and the other is circling him very slowly. There's a guy of a long pole trying to get the two balls together to um, get them into a bout. <laughs> Pushing the animals together to make them fight. They, they really don't want to fight. <laughs> I remember this from last time. There was a little bit of action but there was a lot of sitting around with nothing happening. This is bout two. There are nine rounds today. Every bout goes on until it's finished, so this can go on all day. I'm not going to stay around all day. I think every bout will be roughly the same, so I'm going to leave soon. I hope this has given you a taste of what um, bullfighting is like in southern Thailand. So it's a, a big part of the, the culture in southern Thailand. And thank you for watching. Um, more videos soon. <laughs>